Wall Street to Main Street, the invasion is hitting home in the form of higher prices. As Julie McDonald shows us, we will be paying more for a lot of things, from food to fuel. But a war of this magnitude is almost certain to have a detrimental impact on our economic lives. Nothing can compare to the human cost of war, but on a lesser scale, even here on the other side of the world, there will be prices to pay. We are experiencing substantial inflation at the present time. Um, even if the immediate causes of that recede, the war situation is likely to make it much worse. That inflation has already affected what we pay for food, and Ukraine and Russia are major exporters of wheat and corn. If you're at war, um, you're not really concerned about farming. The two countries are major producers of some metals, exacerbating the microchip shortage. And the conflict certainly won't help what we're already paying to fuel up. It's definitely a hit, especially owning a truck, V8. It gets pretty thirsty at times, so you got to fill her up, and you go from 60 to 80 dollars easy. Then two days later, you have to fill her up again. You know, and it's, it's insane. But what can you do? Because I take the tea to work, but um, I do my second job as a lift driver. It definitely eats into the profits a little bit. And we can expect to feel this for months. Even if it doesn't spread into a wider war, uh, it's not going to go away tomorrow. Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Now, development.